to my channel we are nearly at 500 subscribers we are 14 off and I will be doing a giveaway when I get to 500 subscribers so to all my new subscribers and all my current subscribers that have been with me through this awesome journey thank you very much for your uh, um, kindness commitment to my channel if that's the right words um yeah just thank you very very much i am so happy that you like my content and this channel is for you guys as well as for me um you know it's, it's for me because it helps with my anxiety and depression and because i love coloring i seriously love what i do um you know i'm continuously trying to improve what i'm doing and I hope that reflects in my pages. This is my July haul video of colouring books and supplies. And I have quite a few bits and bobs. So I'm going to get straight in. So firstly we're going to go with supplies. When I get new supplies I put them straight in this jar. So I know what I've got when it comes to showing you guys at the end of the month. So... Firstly, out of the blue, I received another gold favour pencil from a lovely lady on the Amazon Smiles giveaway page. Wasn't expecting this because I haven't been on there in weeks. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure where she got my wish list from. She must have been scrolling through the page, um, through all the really old posts to find my wish list, or she had it saved. But I got gifted this in the number 130, which is a skin tone. So I was super thrilled with that. I bought myself a new raw umber in the Polychromos. Because this is my most used pencil. And yeah, I really needed a new one. So I bought one of those. I got a couple of new paint brushes. Because me and the other half went to hobby craft at the start of the month so this is a graduate de la Raume, um, a spotter so if i put these other bits down i can show you that this is a very very small detailer brush i haven't used this one yet because i try not to use the supplies in the month that i buy them which is kind of weird but I like to you know make sure I get the most out of all of my supplies this is a number two filbert and I love the shape and the feel of this one it's so nice not sure I'll be using them for like their intended purposes per se but I'll be painting with them <laughs> Next, we got the Derwent Eraser, battery powered eraser, and this thing is awesome. Right. So, you have to hold it while you're using it, but it's awesome. I use it for any colouring mistakes that I do, or if I want to add a highlight to a page. Next we have a pack of three blending stumps. These are Hobbycraft's own. And as you can see I actually did use one of these this month because I needed to do some shading with pastels. I bought a new white 1M Posca because I use these all the time. And the nib is like that. I did want to get a 1MR but they didn't have any in stock. So I just went with the 1M. And my last thing I got from Hobbycraft was this Nuvo Midas Touch Aqua Shimmer Brush in gold. So Midas Touch is the gold. And it's very, very different from my Spectrum Noir ones. This literally just leaves the tiniest gold sparkle. So it's like a clear, clear um, wash with gold sparkle in it. Very, very subtle. 
Um, I also went on holiday this month and picked up these out of um, like a market stall. They were £2, which I thought was quite a good price. And I can finally like open them properly. Love these colours. And these are fine liners, like so. So they're not your typical paper make flare, they are the fine liner version. So that is those. So that is all of our supplies that can now go in the rubbish. And we will get on to the books. So actually another supply that I have is these magnets that I bought from Amazon. They're self-adhesive magnets and I've been sort of cutting them in half um, to use in my well, um, gouache palette so now my paints don't fall out <laughs> because I've put magnets on the bottom of them all and they just click into place excuse the mess of that I've been painting yesterday but yep I've dispensed all my gouache colours into here well, all the ones I want, and I've also got some of my homemade watercolours in here too. Right. Moving on to the books. We have A Million Unicorns Magical Creatures to Colour by Lulu Mayo. These were all on offer on Amazon for £3, including her newest mermaid one, which I'm kind of annoyed about because I paid five six pounds for it and now it's down to three pounds but if you want to grab a bargain then head over to the UK um, Amazon and pick it up so this is a million unicorns these are adorable absolutely love Lulu Mayo's illustrations look how cute and some of them are really nice and simple so if you're wanting to do a page that's not going to take too long these are perfect for that. If you would like to see a full flip through of these books, please let me know because I'm just going to do this and this <laughs> and this. So that is that book. Again, we have A Million Sloths by Lulu Mayo. Again, £3, so I picked it up. Cheap as chips. Again, quick flick through because there are countless flip throughs of these books already on YouTube but if you would like me to do one just let me know and then I've already done a flip through on the newest book A Million Mermaids I think this is my favorite so far because it's just really adorable I love these look at the little cat it's so cute so that is A Million Mermaids. Next we have a couple of Maria Trolley books. This is Nightfall. And I have completed a page in here this month, so I'll try and avoid that so as not to spoil you. This was a little tester to see how it withheld watercolour. And it did really well. Again, there's probably a million flip-throughs of these books on YouTube. But that is Nightfall by Maria Trolley. Troll Trolley? Not sure how to say that. Botanicum Special Edition. This is the English um, edition. And I think there was a couple of extra pages or something in this one. Uh, I currently have a whip in here, which won't be included in this month's pages because I still haven't finished it. So I'm going to try and skip that. Oh, no. There we go. So as not to spoil you, you had a quick, quick sneak peek. <laughs> so that is that one. Then we have a couple of Hannah Carls on books. I got Spirit Animals, and upon receiving this and flicking through it, this has to be my favourite Hannah Carls on books so far. 
I love how it's a portrait and then the animal that's in the portrait is incorporated on its own page. I I love that. So look, we've got the scorpion on a headband and then the scorpion on its own. I love the horse ones. They will be probably the first ones I do because they are awesome. So yep, yeah, that is Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlson. So this is Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. And this one is really cute too. It's funny because I was like not a Hannah Carlson fan per se. But it's like something has clicked in my brain and now I really want to colour Han Hannah Carlson's pages. So that is Summer Nights. Next we have Horror Creatures, Dots, Lines and Spirals. I've done a couple out of here this month. So I'll try not to show you those. But you've got the lines, the spirals. And there is a dot. Most of them are spirals and lines, which is fine. Um, probably prefer it if it was more of a variety. But yeah, there's another. You can see who that is already from The Shining. And then some of them are over a double page. So that is Horror Creatures. Then we have our monthly Colouring Heaven book. This one is by Colin Thompson and it is the Busy World Special. Um, not a fan of this one. Um, it's just my personal preference. Um, it's not what I typically colour. So I have handed this one over to my fiancé who will make good use of it. We have next Jade Summer Home Exteriors colouring book. And I can't remember whether I'd shown this in a previous video. But I did just check my June haul and it wasn't in that so I must have got it this month. And if I put this this way because I think they're all landscape. I can't wait to colour some of these home exterior pictures. The only problem is it's Jade Summer paper. <laughs> but I can't bring myself to tear the pages out to photocopy them. And I'm not paying Lulu prices of like £10 for a £3.99 book. It's just not happening. <laughs> Next we have Lonely Planet Kids. This is another book by Lulu Mayo. And this one isn't as popular on YouTube, I don't think. Um, I've seen some flip throughs, but it's quite an old book. 2016. December 2016, so it's four years old. Um, but this one's really cute because they're all kind of like in a spi um, not a spiral, a circle um, effect. And it shows you the illustration coloured in, so you can copy that if you want to. I'll do a quick flick through of this one because it is adorable. So we've got blue whale, we've got koalas, frogs, badgers, penguins. I love the raccoon one, it's adorable. Monkeys. Fish. Whoops. Tiger. Squirrels. Uh, tapirs, possibly. Um, llamas, I think. Crocodiles, dolphins, pandas, peacock, rabbits, uh, reindeer, turtle. More tapirs? Maybe the other one was anteaters. Or maybe these are anteaters. These look like tapirs to me, I'm not sure. 
um, orcas, killer whales, foxes, so his favourite, and then you get like a little map at the back to show where they're all from, and a little description of each animal. So that is The World's Cutest Animal Colouring Book by Lulu Mayo. The last physical book I have is The Amazing Book of Beasts, Colour and Discover by not sure who. Ah, there we go, Angela Rizza. So this one I bought for my fiance's birthday. Let's break this spine. Um, and I decided I wanted a copy for myself as well so I can colour along with him. So, pretty much like the Dragonology books, you get a description of the things. And what's on this page is actually what was on the previous page. If that makes sense. So, I'll do another quick click through, just showing you some random pages. Ignore that beeping. So yeah, that is The Amazing Book of Beasts by Angela Rizza. The last two things I have to show you are two books that I've bound myself. Um, I've had the Flourish book PDF since it came out back in April, I believe it was. Um, so I decided to bind this so it was in a book. I'm pretty much sure you've all seen this. Lovely illustrations by Johanna Busford. And that was the one I coloured back when it came out in April. I did a live stream of this one, so be sure to check that out if you want. And the last one I've got, I made this front cover myself, so it's not great, but... <laughs> Um, myself and my friend Lynn um, sponsored a guy on Patreon who I watch draw on Twitch and he goes by the name Sims Art with a Z and I really fell in love with his style of drawings he's not um, publishing colouring pages or anything these are literally at the stage before he colours them in digitally um, but what he did I contacted him and he put some files in a folder for me that I could use as line art so these are his illustrations I have tried to encourage him to make a colouring book because I love his work it's it's unique and it's awesome I love little colouring little knickknacks and things so I will show you through his work and then we've got from here on in they are landscape so if you want to go and support him on Patreon I will leave the link below I think to get these images it was the highest tier which was $10 I think um, but yeah, it was worth it to get the images because I love them. So that is our colouring book and supplies haul for July. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like as it really helps the channel to grow. Also, like I said at the start, we are so near 500 subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway at 500. So if you like my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video, guys, which will be my July coloured pages. So be sure to look out for that. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Bye.